I realize this was a record rainfall year, but are there years in the past that you've you've been in operation that have had similar challenges? Oh, definitely. Um, and that's kind of why we have switched over to raising more cover crops was because, you know, we have, we usually follow winter wheat with corn and in the spring, that's the toughest part to get corn planted is in the, in the wheat stubble. And so we need a cover crop to suck that moisture, you know, from like middle of or end of June through the, you know, until the next cropping season. So that's why we started cover crops was to basically get corn in the ground on our no-till acres. And further west in Aurora County, we have poor, poor draining soils, which is a big challenge. Um, a lot of potholes and so we definitely need to use our moisture up more and so we've had issues every year but just not quite as bad as this year. Do you have a favorite cover crop blend you like to go with or do you, you're always changing the species that you plant? For years we did the my brother likes to go as cheap as possible and we are very conservative and so we do a cover crop blend mainly brassicas for a number of years and then we found out that hey we need some mycorrhizal friendly um, blends in there. So we've been adding flax and some other crops um, or covers to get that. Um, but yeah, we try to keep the, the price low, use small seeded um, covers and it's worked out well. I mean, there are some years, you know, and Craig will tell you that we've had a struggle getting them in and getting them up because it's been so dry in August. But the last, I'd say four or five years, yeah, it's, been it's been a lot better. We've had really good growth and good activity in our covers. Have you guys looked at changing cover crop species? You talked about the wetness in June and needing to utilize some moisture. Um, I know you raise winter wheat, so rye might be a bad word, um, but have you used, look at it, use winter wheat as a cover crop to utilize some of that excess spring moisture or cereal rye or anything like that? Typically, we like to kill the winter wheat right before freeze up. In fact, I think it was a year ago, I think it was middle of December, we had a few nice days that I got at about 50 and so I went out there and I killed some volunteer weed out because I hadn't done so prior. Um, this year, however, was a different story. We have stripper headers on our, on our combines and there is more loss. I don't like that at fact, but one thing I do like about it is it's a uniform cover crop that you're receding. So, we basically do a burn down before the cover crops, plant the cover crops. And then in the past, I had actually terminated winter wheat, but the last several years I've let it grow. The cover crops are pretty aggressive. The brassicas can't compete very well with the winter wheat. And so, especially this year, I'd seen a lot of farmers out there spraying their winter wheat down this fall and I'm thinking, boy, you know, why not have something growing there? I know it's typically not good to have wheat growing in the spring but in this situation i think i'd rather have that than a lot of residue on the surface and not being able to dry anything out underneath 